On December 3rd, 2018, David Saint-Jacques had a dream come true. He flew to the International Space Station for a six and a half month mission in space. When astronauts are quarantined before going to space, what was once a dream becomes to feel more and more real. The launch on December 3rd was a success. David's journey to the space station lasted six hours. Once on board, a very busy schedule awaited the astronauts. Welcome on board the space station. From conducting science experiments to maintaining the space station, working out every day, and communicating with young Canadians all over the country, performing a wide variety of tasks to ensure the success of the mission. It is a very humbling privilege uh, to be here. Very, very few people have had that chance to see these views. David had the chance to take part in a world first, the test flight of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Farewell, Dragon. Farewell, Ripley. On March 14, three new crewmates arrived on the station. On April 8, David Saint Jacques conducted his first spacewalk. Good morning, PC. Ready. He was accompanied by NASA astronaut Anne McLean. For six and a half hours, they carried out a number of tasks, including connecting cables to provide an alternate power supply for Canadarm2. David became the fourth Canadian Space Agency astronaut to perform a spacewalk. We take time to look around us, we take time to try to let it all sink in. To be honest, I'm sure it will take weeks, months, or maybe even years for the experience to really sink in. He controlled Canadarm2 to capture SpaceX's Dragon cargo ship. Welcome on board, Dragon. We were backing away and we could see the space station and the solar panels gradually receding. I noticed movement. We still had the impression that we weren't moving, that we were floating. It reminded me a bit perhaps of the impact one feels in a car crash. It was a very abrupt stop. The wave is very strong, this enormous wave that brought me here. Uh, it was quite a, quite a trip. I'm completely blown away. It's very touching and it's very humbling and it makes you want to go back to Earth and help make it better.